Hello, and welcome back to Leaf's Odyssey. Uh, last time we left off in the tower. It looks like we're climbing higher and higher. It looks like there's maybe going to be even more floors than <laughs> what we're here, but they might only consist of one room each. Uh, let's get to it. I assume these are sort of the penultimate puzzles. We've we've seen all of the uh, colors of keys. I mean, you could just like restart it and like start giving me prime keys again <laughs> if there were more doors, but I don't even see any doors. Um, so I assume we're, we're nearing the end of this game. Uh, this looks to be a stacking puzzle, one in which we need to kill a monster block. The only way to kill the monster block is to sh hit this toggle switch. The only way to hit that toggle switch is to get beside it? I assume an eyeball can't shoot a monster block, right? That's not a thing? Like, that's not anything? <laughs> uh, I don't know how I'd set up that to begin with. Uh, I need... Okay, I need blocks here and here. No. Monster block didn't die. Okay. Can't shoot a monster block with an eyeball. Monster block needs to die there, then. It means we need to somehow hit this switch while we're raised up. I guess the first step of that is killing the eyeball? And I guess the first step of that is, like, making a block to block this eyeball? Uh... But I don't think that's quite right. There's also a problem here where I'm making myself stand on a monster block. I think we need to stack this on the monster block. I don't think I'm taking the right approach here. It's like we have to get to this eyeball. can kill this eyeball by sacrificing one block. So this stacking is pointless. Well, I guess that doesn't strictly sacrifice that block, but, like... Oh, no, we can't. What is this for, then? Weird. of that mechanism down there eludes me. Oh, it would just kind of be nice to have a stacked block there. Okay, I think this works. It's like, you push this here, here, oops. This, this, this. This. Um... Not quite. You need...
That's just a bad spot to walk. You'd much rather be over here. It's just you can't get to the eyeball that way. <sighs> right, so you have this cross point. But at the same time... You can kill this eye. Okay, I can kill that eye if I waste like a lot of blocks. Cause it's like you gotta, you gotta put one there. You gotta st stack one. How many blocks do I need over here? I need more than two. Cause like this eyeball just shoots me. I don't know. Feels like I need a lot of resources to kill the eyeball down here, though. And if I kill the eyeball down there, what am I doing still? I have three blocks. And... Not really a good plan. Yeah, I don't see how this plan works even if that eyeball's not there. So I, I guess the first thing we need to figure out is how you even get over to this eyeball. With... Not sure what I just did there, but there you go. These are permanently stuck. Oh no, they're not. You'd have to put this up here. Um. Pretty sure this is always wrong. You can't unstack this. Yeah, if you're making any stack with a monster block, the monster block's on the bottom, because we don't... Yeah, I guess there was never a puzzle where we unstacked boxes, huh? They're just stuck there. If it was like a monster, you can like kill the monster, but like, yeah, when they're boxes, you can't unstack them? Question mark? I'm feeling like the, the, this is a convenient stackable. Uh... That blocks that, but then, like, what am I... You still can't get across this. So like, there's some way across that that I don't see. There's just simply not enough blocks, right? You'd have to hold a block here. Like, you could do it this way and get up. But that still takes... Hmm. 
more blocks than I have? Does it not? You can't skip this part of the bridge that easily. You can with the monster block, I guess. This gives you a walkable... This save a block? It kind of does? Maybe it doesn't. What do you think about this? Doing this this way... If we had a block here... Then we can move down, forward, kill it. Okay, I got it. So, from here, if I could move up, and then back down, we'd be able to kill that eye. Like, if this was here. Right? Because it's like, then you can step here Activate, step back, go here, cool down, kill. Yeah, yeah, So that works. We just need a way to kill or block this eye now. Uh, it can only use the monster block. You only can... That can't be right. You need... Th I need three blocks up here to solve that part. Once you push a block down there, it's just stuck. Oh, okay. What if instead we were moving down and we stack... this on the monster block. Now that's our blocker. Move this here. We're blocked from that. Oh. Monster block needs to be on top. And we can unstack blocks. You just need to be on the same level as them. Okay. We figured it out. It took us a bit. I wasn't seeing, like, the sequence of moves to even avoid the first, the first eyeball. Okay. So it's something like that. Now you push that, you push that, you die. That's not ideal. Right. Okay. What is this? <laughs> and why does it exist? Why does this exist? How can I possibly use that to get rid of that eye? Hmm. Play down here. Where it's like. No, 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 no. That just doesn't work. 
One, you'd have to put the monster block against the wall, which is just a no-go. Right? Once you can put blocks on the outside walls, which I'm pretty sure you can't do. Guess we could try that, but I, <laughs> that seems wrong. Weird? I really don't understand this contraption. Awkward. Is there some other way to get to this? No, like, I clearly need to understand this thing. That's the piece of the puzzle I need. So let's fiddle with this thing for a while. What could I possibly do? And do something like that? No. I have to be able to lift myself up. And the only way I can really do that is to push a block from there to there. Oh, and if I had a, if I had a place to step... No, but then I don't have a way to, like, put a block here. Right, if I'm being lifted up... If I could loop here and then push a block there, but I don't... I don't see how that's possible. But also, this, this, this process just loses so many blocks down here. Like, if I'm putting another block here, I'm losing two blocks. And I don't think I can do this with... two blocks. I need three. And you can't lose this one down here because this... screws you. You need to be able to get this block onto this hot coal. Yikes. Uh, 
Um, missing this seems to be the uh, just to recap this seems to be the only way to do this it's like you stack uh, it's like this right not quite uh, it's like this Right, because then you can dodge up, come back down, dodge up again, come back down, and then it's off cooldown and you kill it. So that works fine as long as we have three pink boxes. What are we doing with our fourth monster block? Absolutely nothing. Is there another setup that even gets us here? I, like, that, that seems like the only setup that gets us here, right? Yeah, I mean, from my perspective, yeah. So great, how do we kill this eye without well, even how do we kill that eye to begin with? Like, there, I don't even see a way to do it. Like, I can't just do this. There's no way to get up. I can't... Okay, I can do it that way. I can do it if Monster Block... Let's just play out the thing that I think is impossible to prove to myself why it's impossible. Well, there's a few problems. Number one... How do I get a block above me? Here. I can't even fix that with a stack. Like, if this was triple stacked... So the problem is, I have to, like, enter this from this direction, right? I have to enter from this direction. If I'm entering from this direction, there necessarily can't be a block here. There also can't be a block here. So that seems like a no-go. Likewise, one, two, three, four. You just can't reach that way. There's some weirdo thing you can do with this setup, but I'm...
Um. What do you do with this setup? Tough. Oh, not in a particularly frustrating way, though. It's just I there's some like. Arcane sequences sequence of moves down here to kill this eyeball. I think I, I feel like there's literally only one way to do this. But, like, if I can't see any way to do this... Something that's clearly possible... Then it's just possible I'm bad at seeing ways to do things, and maybe I've misconstrained this part, too. get that part. Huh. Let's try things on this thing. It doesn't... Doesn't make sense to me. We can do this... To not die to eyeball. But then how do you get to eyeball? You're not allowed to do that. I mean, we're just burning blocks that way too. some interaction I don't understand here. Oh. Okay, well that's given me some new perspective. Why in the world does this toggle this? <laughs> This almost implies you need to solve this before you can solve this. Which does make more sense to me because you get stuff stuck down here. So then I guess my first assumption is incorrect. That... <sighs> yeah, my first assumption where I said this is the only way to, you have to kill this to kill this is not right. Because this clearly helps you... Yeah, because if this was up, then this just works like a normal bridge. Okay, this is the thing I was missing. This toggles this. Okay, that completely changes how, where I'm searching. This is pointless down here. Don't screw with this right now. You have to figure out how to kill this eyeball without dying to this eyeball. So there's clearly another way that I'm just not seeing. 
So, uh... This felt right to me in some way. Uh, uh. But in another way, it does not. If I could. If I could just stall one more turn, or like not have something there. That doesn't quite work. And you can't do this with just two. That's a funny sequence of moves, but... Oh... Yeah, that's the key. Okay, I get it. So you have to have a double stack here that has the purple on the bottom. Uh, because now, oh, no, no, I don't even want to stack the purple yet. Wait, do I? Time out. What am I trying to do here? It's like you, how did I get in that situation? I did, I have a double stack I'm pushing. Whoo, okay. So. There's a double stack. There's a. There's a. Okay. You're right. The way I got to this position is you have. You make a stack. Then you put said stack here. You step here, which raises you up. So. If this side now was too high, then I could walk here, and then I could put my remaining block here, and then I could essentially avoid this eye because I'm one higher than it, and this eye would also not see me up here, and then I could just drop in on this eye, kill it. That way I can get there using only four blocks, one of which I don't need to stand on, which is great because I can't stand on that one. So. The one on top here, the one on top of this needs to be the purple one, but on top of the purple one, I need to put another block. So that needs to be on there. Then this needs to be on a pink. And I might as well set this up. This needs to be on a pink. Now when I push... Oh, no, no. I'm setting that up. Now, when I push this there, I get that stack. I get to kill the eyeball and flip the switch. Great. Now, this is solvable with just one box. Uh, no, I need two boxes, but that's fine. I have two boxes. So this is here. That's there. Kill that. Solved. Whew! Tough. Very tough. Cool puzzle, though. Um, I think it would have been stuck a lot longer if I didn't notice this toggle switch, but that is a very necessary part. So, like, make sure to... Once, once you've sort of fully understood the room, make sure you're checking the toggles again. Because I was just thinking that this... Only this toggled this. So this was... This was very much the... The piece of information I was missing. And once we had that, we could sort of form our our plan. Uh, I mean, I guess I could have formed that plan without knowing this, but then... 
Yeah, I don't know. I think this constraint was informing me that I need to kill this eyeball first if I don't know that this this toggles. So I guess I'm operating on some assumptions that like every element is purposeful. And if I wasn't operating on that assumption, I wouldn't have pushed so hard for this side. And maybe I would have found this bridgey thing. But yeah, I don't know. All right, taxi. A lot of things going on here. A sacrifice tile that lets out this statue. Some more ways to load things up. A pacified block here, which means I can use, I can walk on the monster block. on these tiles. Can we walk on rubble? Oh, it's hard to kill guys there, huh? And I can't kill you there. Okay, time out. Well, that's a little awkward then. How do I test this? I guess I can test it right here. Uh, I can test it over here. No. Can't walk on rubble. Can I push a block on rubble? No. It's just a... Rubble's just a wall. Okay. Oh, I see. But these guys can push. Oh, God. Okay, so the inside of this puzzle is I'm on a monster block that's being pushed by a statue. Yeah, and that's how I get into this area. Is that right? How does a statue kill itself then? Or how do I kill the statue? I can't kill things from high up, right? Oh, I can. Okay, then that does work. It's weird that I can kill monsters from high up, but not flip switches. Strange. Okay. I keep expecting these to sort of work like, the first time I saw these and now that I haven't used them in a while, I, I expect them to work like uh, Spelunky altars, where if you just wait on it, you die. <laughs> That's how I was expecting this mechanic to work uh, initially when I saw it. Okay, so a bit of a complicated setup here, huh? First, we need to free the monster block. To free the monster block, we have to kill... Well, this is the only thing we have access to. So we're necessarily killing the statue on the... On the... Oh, Jesus. Okay, we have a lot of problems here. We need to free the monster block. We need to kill... Oh. I see. So first things first, we're writing this. <laughs> We're writing that block. We're writing this block down here to like. How do we do that? We need like the block. Oh, that doesn't quite work. Right. So since we can we can attack from blocks, but we can't attack from Pacific tiles, we need the block on here to be able to kill the statue on here. To do that, you need the statue to push you sort of horizontally here is what I wanted to do and get you here, but maybe you have to push vertically. That doesn't quite work either, does it? It's hard to get up there for one.
rude. Um, I guess this is more promising. What if you just, what if you just put this in front of him? And then he never activates, that's a good point. What if... There we go. I just needed to space it better. What did I... How did I screw that up before? What did I do differently? Oh, I was, like, going up and then back. I just needed to do it in one motion. Got it. Okay. So that solves part one. Now we have a monster block. We need to ride the monster block across. Uh, and we need to get this guy... This lets us use this block somehow? How does that work? Um... How does this work? I need him to step on this switch for me, I think. No. Well, maybe, but I have to use this block somehow. Something here where I need little device help me it lets me stack I guess no it really doesn't this helps me stack over here uh, somehow yeah like that Why would I need to stack? I somehow was on this block and got pushed here, but I don't see how to do that either. the monster block across that much is absolutely true just gotta figure out this little device Feels like I'm supposed to use this to block something, but maybe not. He like pushes it, so 
I don't doesn't really block his movement that well. Ooh, oop, don't un, don't don't undo all the way. This first part is definitely right, but then it's like, what to do after that? It's mostly just a matter of getting up. I just have to get up. Why is that so hard? What if I did that? Not quite. That? Not quite. I need to be like, I need to have this guy push that block on this button while I'm in one square well, I'm one square away from this. That, like, never works because he moves diagonally. Unless he's way... Oh, I need to block line of sight this way. Then... No, then we're aligned. I guess we're always aligned. What if this block was here? Then I trail him this way. Not quite. It's like this. No, that pushes. Gotcha. If that didn't push, I think that solves it because then... No, no, no. He would step on the thing. It wouldn't work. I... Okay, I think this space is like... S pointless. What if we start trying something like this, where we... Right, we have pacify tiles. Of course. So, you gotta like... Pull you down here, and then I pull you up? How do I ever trick you into... ...touching this block the same time as me? This is a good, like... ...little test here, though. I like that, sort of. So it's like we need the block somewhere. Don't push that yet, please. It's sort of... I need...
Like, in this way, you'd push from here to there, or, like, from... It's still pretty awkward from down here, huh? It's like, we can get you there. Yeah, still pretty awkward. There's, like, not a good way to... Like, just get this box out of the way for now. What can I do down here that looks right? It's like I can do that. But at best, that doesn't push the box where I want it to go. I'm not seeing it. You're always sort of aligned in such a way that it just doesn't work. As Rudy just jumps on you. Quite, but I do think this is getting closer. The only way that move's not possible is if we have that block here, but if we have the block there, then we can't- we still can't get to that in time. I guess there's another line where you do this? Okay, that's pretty close. If we could get him to slide over. Because then if he's here, I don't know, but then that's still the same problem, right? This feels like the same problem.
Like, sure, you could... Blocking the way here, it's never gonna move around, right? our switches oh Jesus Christ <laughs> this switch also affects this Jesus Christ okay okay we've learned the same lesson twice in this in, in the same video very impressive. Why did I die? I'm not sure why I died, but okay. All right, cool. Um, we might cut it there, but all right, we've learned <laughs> two rooms with the exact same lesson. At least, at least that one gave me a hint for what might be wrong on the first. The first one gave me a hint of what might be wrong on the second one is that I didn't check my switches uh, carefully enough. I was very hyper focused on only this switch doing it, and when in fact you just had to hold both switches. Ugh. I mean, that is obfuscated a bit, though. Like, if, 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 because <laughs> of the dual use switch here, whereas, like, really, this is, this is doing two things, and it could, this, this effect, where it pushes this button, could have easily been a different switch. And that would make the puzzle very clear, if that wasn't supposed to be a puzzle, part of the puzzle. If it is supposed to be part of the puzzle, then it's kind of, just a knowledge check that you made sure that you knew what the switches meant. Anyway, that's my fault, but we got there. <laughs> we'll see you next time.